Okay, uh, welcome back everyone. The purpose of this video here is to illustrate how to define angles and then how to use construction lines for the purpose of uh, constructing your model. As you can see here, I'm using the switch bracket, which is probably relevant if you're in the middle of uh, this course and you're in the time span approximately around October 22nd, 2020. Otherwise, this would be an abstract example to apply to any other situation that you might have uh, regarding construction lines and angles. <clears throat> so construction lines would be um, kind of regarded as if you had a physical piece of material and I gave you, an, let's say, an eight foot long board and I said cut this to seven and a half inches, you would measure out seven and a half inches and put a mark, indicate where that is, and then possibly take a framing square or a square, make that line of where you're going to cut, and then that would allow you to construct the uh, desired length of the material, thus making your part. Um, this is the same idea. This is like placing a temporary mark that you can measure from and to, and then create um, necessary geometry to make your three-dimensional model. So how we're going to take care of uh, uh, this process is, as you can see, my switch bracket's already been completed. I'm going to open up my first sketch that was used to um, create the initial base of the part. As you can see here, I have a 15 degree um, slope at one and a quarter inches over from the left edge of the part. So how did I create that? Well, initially I created a construction line, as you can see here. I'm going to create a second set of angles um, using a construction line and then delete this. So first I would create my standard line tool. You can press L for line. Create that line where you would like to approximately place it. Once that line is created, you're going to press escape and then you're going to right click on that line itself and then you're going to select the fourth option down from the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then that's going to be marked as construction. And what construction obviously is, is implied for, it's going to let you construct that model. So if I needed a 45 degree angle at the end of, at this intersection point here, um, obviously that intersection point would have some sort of relevant value to it. So let's just say it's one inch. So we're first going to dimension one inch off that edge. <clears throat> and then I'm going to just draw another line. Now this is showing how to create angles and maybe I'm going to go all the way to this part. Obviously this is hypothetical. Um, I'm trying to see if it's 45 degree if that would work. We'll find out. So I'm going to click not to a midpoint. Never click to midpoints unless you intend it to stay there forever. Um, pick an anonymous edge. Once again, this is not how we construct the part. I just want to show you how to do the, the actual line um, at a specific angle. Now, when you built this specific view, you most likely had um, this initial sketch being represented as a rectangle. So I'm going to kind of build that out quickly just so that you have it here. Um, also, small demonstration of trim. As you can see, when you click the trim tool, which is created with the letter M as in Mary for the shortcut on your keyboard, it will delete line segments at intersection upon click. So it's very easy to trim. But anyway, the point of this was to talk about how I specify an angle. So you're going to press D is for dimension. And then you're going to click, let's say, the portion of your sketch that you'd like to measure an angle from or to and then the actual angled line. You can see that this is the complement of the 180 degrees and this is the other side, right? 28.214 happens to just be the exact place I drew the line. So if I wanted 45, I would place that value there, put in 45 and press enter. As you can see, it kind of extended <clears throat> past the length of my part and clearly that's not what I necessarily want, so I'm gonna undo that. But I wanted to just at least illustrate how I would modify an angled line. I snap to this line, but to get 45 degrees, it would be obviously down here. So that's why it kind of shortened the part. So I'm gonna delete that at this point because it's not necessary to have there. And to show quick as a reference to trim, I can go grab the trim tool or press M and I could click this line and have it go away and this line go away but once again the horizontal line that remains is still what's driving my 15 degree so I'm going to delete my construction line in a minute after I just demonstrate one more final thing 
What happens if you have a construction line that you intend to be a model line? If you just right click on that construction line and go four down and click the construction indicator a second time, it will toggle it back to a solid line. And at that point you can move on. Clearly I don't want this here for my model itself, so I'm gonna delete it. That was the purpose of this video to show you how to uh, create angled lines, as well as how to add up um, and use a construction line for various locations that you need to indicate and mark so that you can shoot off an angle or create intersections of various locations. Okay, hopefully this helps and I will see you next time.